Hello everyone, Dave here with a different kind of video. This is going to be a review and a comparison to two helmets that I have, one of them brand new, which I got last week. The first one is the Shoei Neotech 2, which I purchased some years ago, and it's been my main helmet for quite some time. The one that I just purchased is the Shoei J Cruise 2. This particular helmet is a open-faced helmet or a three-quarter helmet. And the reason that I wanted a three-quarter helmet or an open-faced helmet is that on very, very warm days, I would like to have a little bit more air hitting my face. So I figured this was a good helmet. Uh, I really like showy products. The Neotech 2 has been a fantastic helmet for me and, and will continue to be a fantastic helmet. I wanted to check out what would be the three-quarter version of the Neotech 2 because it's built almost exactly the same, just in a three-quarter or open-face style helmet. It replaces the original J. Cruz. Uh, this was, I believe, issued in 2020 or 2021. I'm not real sure. But the J. Cruz 2 has uh, multiple vents on the top of the helmet, and it has an exhaust vent on the back of it. Uh, which you'll see in the pictures here that I keep showing of the helmet. Now, as compared to the Neotech 2, it has one vent on the top, and it has a vent on the chin, which can be opened, and it does have an exhaust vent on the back of it as well. Now, what sets the J Cruise 2 apart, other than the fact that it is an open-face helmet, is that I can also put in the SRL communication system, which I have in the Neotech 2. I bought the SRL communication system, which has been absolutely fantastic. It integrates with the Goldwing, and the Goldwing integrates with the iPhone, so I have a great deal of communication offerings with the SRL system. And it's built in and somewhat integrated to the helmet, so you don't really know that the pieces and parts are there. The J Cruise 2 also uses the SRL system. And last year I purchased the SRL mesh system, which is all Cena products. I can communicate with any Cena system pretty easily. SRL mesh is the newest one that they have that goes into the showy helmets. And it's really, really fantastic. It's got upgraded speakers and it does include the mesh system. Although I don't ride with anyone that has a mesh system. The J Cruise 2 has a full face shield on it with a pin lock system built into it. It goes all the way down when it's closed and it does have great coverage. And I'm very impressed with the amount of coverage. In fact, I think that the J Cruise 2 is actually a quieter helmet than what I have in the Neotech 2. The Neotech 2 and most modular helmets have complaints that they are very noisy. And now that I'm using the J Cruise 2 on occasion, I understand what they're talking about. It's really crazy. It also has an inside visor that is uh, tinted, very dark, and it's similar to what I've got in the Neotech 2. It goes down and it covers my glasses if I'm wearing them. And I can have the full face clear shield up in a position to where I get some air in my face, but I can still use the sun visor on the inside, which is really nice. I do like that part of it. Both the Neotech 2 and the J Cruise 2 have a ratchet style chin strap. It is not a D ring style like most helmets are. I do like the ratchet style. It does seem to work very well. I've not had it come loose ever. So I'm very pleased with what Shoei has done with the ratchet style system. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over and take a ride with the J Cruise 2 and give you my thoughts on it. And you'll see what it's all about and actually hear for yourself what it's like with the GoPro that is hooked up to it. Now I have the GoPro system set up a little bit differently. I have to use the chesty and use an extension arm for the GoPro. And then I have the microphone going and it is clipped to the Cena microphone that's part of the SRL system. So it's a little bit different and you'll be listening to this type of a video set up for the first time right along with me. 
So let's take a look and let's take a ride. Okay, so we're off now. I've got the J Cruise 2 on. And obviously I have a different setup because the front of the J Cruise 2 does not have a mount like the Neotech 2 does. So I'm wearing my chesty with some uh, crazy contraptions here to see if it will work. Um, and the microphone is actually pinned to the microphone for my Cena. So it's a little bit different setup than what I'm used to. It may be clearer, it may not be, I don't know. Now I've got the uh, sun shield down and I also have the face shield all the way down just to see because uh, my opinion is that this is a quieter helmet than the Neotech 2 when everything is in place like it should be. Um, I'm still thinking that it is and I guess proof will be in the pudding when I get to editing this video to see exactly what it's like. Now it's really bizarre having the camera attached to my chest and sticking out in front of me but uh, it's not on my helmet and I hardly know that I'm wearing it actually. Um, I may have to come up with something a little bit different, a shorter arm to hold the camera on, but for now I tried to do the best I could to duplicate the shot that I usually get from my helmet. Um, and I think I'm pretty close. The only difference is that when I turn my head, the camera's not going to turn uh, because it is attached to my chest. And with all the bouncing around that's going on, it should have no effect whatsoever on the image because of the way the GoPro um, does its correction for bounces and all that stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. Now, right now, I think it is pretty quiet. Um, at least it is to my ears. I don't know what it sounds like with the microphone, where it is located. I have the Cena microphone right by my lips like I normally do, which is going to put the microphone for the GoPro slightly below it. Um, but it's still closer than when I have it in the Neotech. The Neotech, I have it pinned down really below my chin and it picks up pretty good. So we'll have to see how this does. The other problem that I ran into is that when I went to go get the camera, I realized that the battery was completely dead. So what I've done is I've got a um, charging block hooked to the GoPro right now. And the charging block is keeping the GoPro recording right now it's showing about 3% on the on the battery of the GoPro so I'm using the charging block as kind of a um, uh, I guess you could say line power um, to keep things going so I'm really hoping that it works well uh, I'll find out right now the red light on the back of the camera is still blinking telling me it's recording so that's a good thing so today I'm going to take a ride down Lake Road. It is kind of a hazy day uh, today. The smoke has, um, it's in the air. I think it's a little better than it was yesterday. Yesterday was around 150, 160 on the air quality index. Today I'm guessing it's around 120, 130. Um, it is a little bit better. I haven't looked at it to see what it was because the sun is shining through, but there is a distinct haze that you can see. Um, so far, so good. I'm really liking the J Cruise 2. Um, it's comfortable. It's the same size as the Neotech. It is obviously much lighter in weight than the Neotech 2 because you've got all of that stuff um, that's on the Neotech 2 in order to make it flip. So there's a lot more mechanical things on it that make it heavier. And <laughs> the video may not be showing it, but this road is really bumpy. You can hear it in my voice. I'm hitting some stuff that's just... It juts up three, four inches, and it's ridiculous. And it just, it throws me off uh, with the voice. You can hear that. So, again, heading down Lake Road, just trying to get an audio and video test with this setup to see how it's going to work. So, going back to um, 
the smoke and stuff. Uh, I mean, there's not much you're going to be able to do about all of that because it is what it is. Uh, they've got to get the fires under control and out, and then the smoke will quit coming down to the U.S. and blanketing areas of the U.S., and obviously it's blanking Canada as well. So one of the things that uh, Clay and I have talked about with our vacation, we were going to Canada. We were going to go up through Michigan into the Upper Peninsula and uh, spend some time in Canada, but with the situation being as what it is, it's kind of silly to do that. Um, not that either of us have severe breathing problems, but I just can't imagine that being around that smoke non-stop is going to be a lot of fun. So we decided that we're going to change our route. Uh, we're fine-tuning something that will be more New England uh, with a final destination of probably Gettysburg and we'll stay around there for a day or two, a few days, whatever it is, have Melissa meet us there and then uh, spend some time on some attractions on the way home like falling water and if there's time we may go see where the uh, the flight crashed from 9-11 i haven't been there since i guess a year or two after it occurred and uh it's been a while they hadn't had much built up and i guess they have a full-blown museum and so forth there now it would be kind of neat to see all of that uh to see what's changed from the last time that i was there so, um, we're going to keep this kind of brief because, uh, again, the focus of this is going to be on my review and comparison of the J-Cruise 2 versus my Neotech 2. And so far, so good. Um, again, I'll repeat that the main reason I got the J-Cruise 2 was on hot days, I will get some more air to my face, um, which is big. Um, I would like to get a little bit more air to try and help me stay cooler. Um, the Neotech 2, I love the helmet. Don't have any problems with it. But the issue is mainly that uh, unless it's wide open in the front, you don't get a whole lot of air. And when you have it wide open in the front, you lose some of the protection and it becomes more or less an open face helmet. So why not get the open face helmet to begin with? Now the nice part is that it's got a full shield that goes down really low. So if I'm caught in the rain, it should be just fine. Um, I don't think that there will be any issues uh, as far as uh, trying to stay dry versus the Neotech 2. I mean, it only goes down so far as well. So. Um, I'm thinking that this is going to be a good alternative helmet um, and honestly uh, the half helmet that I have I'm just not comfortable taking a 2,900 mile trip or 2,000 mile trip whatever it ends up being with just a half helmet I would like a little more protection in case we get into the weather so I think this is a good solution the price was decent it's still expensive but you're talking about a higher end helmet also. The final part of this comparison is now with the clear face shield all the way up with wind blowing onto my face over top of the windshield. I wanted to get a feel for what the, uh, the wind would be like on the microphone for the GoPro. And uh, really I feel pretty good about the wind that's hitting my face. It feels pretty good. Um, you know, it's not too bad, but I don't know how it's picking up on the microphone. Now, I know the Cena microphone does a great deal of noise cancellation, so at least I've been told that whenever I'm having a conversation through the Cena, people say, it doesn't sound like you're on a motorcycle. Well, I am, trust me. But I wanted to see what this is going to be like as far as picking up audio if I have the shield open in order to get some air. Right now it's 76 degrees according to the motorcycle, so it's not an overly hot day. But the wind still feels pretty good. And I think if I lower the windshield all the way down, you're going to start to get a, quite a bit of wind noise. 
Um, I fully expect that. I can hear the wind noise in the helmet, so I'm expecting that the uh, microphone for the GoPro is also picking up some wind noise. So I'll raise it back up to where I normally have it, which is, uh, I'll say, about lip level, I'll say. It's below the nose. So I'm getting air across the top, but there's a recurve on the windshield so that it helps to move the air slightly above my head too. I like that part of this F4 Customs windshield. So at this point, I believe I'm going to cut this off and I've done about all the testing that I can do considering, uh, you know, speed's been 55 on down to 45 and even slower, of course. Um, but I'm going to head down Austin Road here and head back to Lake Road. And at the end of this video, then, I'm going to go ahead and offer up my conclusion on what I think about the, the Neotech 2 versus the J Cruise 2. I'm really liking the J Cruise 2, I can tell you that. So stand by and I'll be back with my conclusions. So here are some of my closing thoughts on the Shoei helmets and especially the J Cruise 2. Shoei helmets are top of the line helmets as far as I'm concerned. They're in the upper echelon of helmets. They are pricey. The Neotech 2 when I purchased it with the SRL system was just around $1,000 and that included several discounts. The J Cruise 2 is also pricey and I believe it lists at $580, but I did get some discounts on the purchase of it as well. You can get some very nice helmets for anywhere from $100 to $300 and they will do a fine job. Shoei is just in a different class when it comes to the build of the helmets and I am very, very pleased to be using Shoei products. They have not failed me. They're very comfortable. The pads all come out of them so that you can wash them and they soak up sweat very nicely. So I will continue to use Shoei helmets. The J Cruise 2, I'm going to have to give it some more time, but the early impression is that it's going to be a fantastic helmet. So if you're looking for a high-end helmet for yourself, I highly recommend Shoei products. The Neotech 2 is fantastic as a modular helmet, and the J Cruise 2 is wonderful as an open face or three-quarter helmet. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you soon.